Welcome guys to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Framer. How to create a portfolio is going to be really easy whether you are a prototyping tool, powerful designer, or just whatever you want to do is to focus into signing up your Framer. I'm going to leave your link down below in the description so you can all get started totally for free. You can access with Google, you can access with Facebook. Uh, actually, it's going to be really easy to sign in uh, using a Gmail account. So once you are logged in, once you hit into start shortly for free, what you can do is to choose an actual template. Now, Framer is something that can help you to create websites in a very easy way. So if you're just getting started, what I can do, what I can suggest to you is to focus with an actual template. So to choose a template, you will be presented with a variety of templates to choose from. So what we can do is to go directly into our dashboard. Here into our dashboard, I'm going to go and of course uh, delete this or just achieve this, achieve the project, and I create a new project. Here into my new project, what you can do is to choose a template. So here I'm going to just close this, I go for browse, and it's going to be taking me into all the templates that we can use here into frame. So brush through the availability options and select the template that fits your style and feeds, of course, uh, the showcases your work effectively. So you can choose, of course, free templates if you don't want to pay for more. I'm going to go here into search for templates, and I'm going to go for portfolio. And there we go. As you can see, we have a portfolio website. I'm going to go here and look out for more portfolio section. Even what you can do is to look out for something uh, totally for free. So let's go here into preview. And if you wanted to, you can just add this portfolio. If you don't want to buy absolutely anything of this, what you can do is to go back. And here, even what you can do is to just insert a panel. As you can see, I do have panel number one. I do have the portfolio. And this second section, I have the layers. I have the assets. And lastly, here is my page section. In this case, here is my home section. So here I have the portfolio. And Project X, for example, what you can do is to start by customizing this portfolio just uh, by Framer. Interface makes it easy to customize every aspect of your portfolio from colors, the typography, the layout interaction, so we can use it to design your own content. Instead of this frame, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to just leave the video here. So I think that I can make this a little bit much more smaller. And there we go. Now into the second thought. I can add something about this project. Let's say, for example, let's go for a video for uh, Vmail 2021 and do exactly the same thing here, 2021. Now, once I finish this, then what I can do is to edit the About section, the contact, or if you don't want to see this, what I can do is to select this stack, which in this case, here it is, and I can delete it. If you delete this stack, you can just add much more elements or just go into the Insert. We can insert more elements, more sections. For example, let's go for this. And automatically it's going to be inserted that way. So I can edit all of the elements I would like to add. And then I can choose more elements so I can edit it as I am focusing into my portfolio. So if you clicked into the section, what you can do is to change the overlay, for example. I delete this. And there we go. Now what we can do is to test your portfolio. Once you are okay with it, what you can do is to go into published. And then what you can do is to go and copy this domain and make sure everything looks great. So make sure that all your elements that you just added directly into your portfolio is now looking really great. In this case, I just used a uh, section so I can see how it actually looks. So I can just edit this later. So as you can see, it actually looks really great. What I can do is just to edit much more elements later. And then lastly, what I need to do is to share my portfolio. You can, of course, share the link into your portfolio, into socials, into your email signature, and add to your resume or to the link to the in profile. So there you have it, guys. You now learned how to create a portfolio with Framer. Whether you are a designer, a developer, or both, the Framer provides a more powerful platform for showcasing your work and impress potential clients and employers. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools on how we can get started using Framer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.